Hello, sports fans. It's me, sports fan Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with some baseball off-season news. This is big. I said before in a previous video that I was not going to uh, put out a video when just one thing happens. But pretty much this is one pretty big thing. And I'm going to thank one of my viewers and a guy that I went to college with, Mike Buccolo, for bringing this to my attention. Mike, of course, very big New York um, City sports fan. He loves the Jets, and he loves the Mets. And, uh, yeah, he's got a big, he's got a huge Jets blanket that he used to put over the window of our dorm room. But anyway, that's, that's the story for a different time. But right now... The, the important thing is that the Mets made a huge, huge deal. And what they did was they did a trade with the Cleveland Indians where they sent uh, the Cleveland Indians, Ahmed Rosario, their shortstop, Andres Jimenez, pitching prospect Josh Wolf and outfield prospect Isaiah Green. And in return, they got shortstop Francisco Lindor and starting pitcher um, Carlos Carrasco. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boot. So, um, and that's after signing James McCann to be their catcher. And, um, and they're still, on top of everything, they're still apparently eyeing um, George Springer to play center field for him. Because one of the big knocks on the Mets has been that they needed to get a lot better defensively up the middle. And this all kind of plays in because now you've got Lindor that can play shortstop permanently. You have James McCann, who is a, at least a decent defensive catcher. He's a former White Sox, so I know. And he's been working on his defense last couple years and takes it very seriously. So. He's a he's a decent at least decent defensive catching or catcher, and and could it be even better by the time he goes through training camp and we get um, on with the new season, and then they want to get George Springer for center field. They're still eyeing him, and this move with Lindor now allows the Mets to play Jeff McNeil totally at second base, which is his natural position, and a position that he's better at than just being a guy that roams around the infield. So, um, and of course, obtaining Carrasco will buy the Mets time for Noah Syndergaard to come back from Tommy John surgery. So, that's big. It's a lot of big stuff there, but, uh, you know, stop me if you heard this story before, because, you know, if you just go down 95, you got a city called Philadelphia. And the Philadelphia Phillies loaded up on a lot of great talent, you know, Harper and um, uh, Zach Wheeler, the former Mets pitcher himself. And, uh, you know, now they have a lot of salary and a team that just doesn't seem to win very much. So um, let's, you know, let's, let's pump the brakes a little bit on the... Uh, Mets are going to the World Series because I know that you know guys like Mike and other Mets fans are out there thinking that very thing now I mean even really unseating the Atlanta Braves is you know that's not a gimme the Atlanta Braves are a very good team the Phillies if if that team could hit on all cylinders would be a very good team and as I mentioned before the Washington Nationals went out and they got Josh Bell from the Pirates and they do have a good pitching staff. So you really have a pretty good um, you got a pretty good division there. 
so I don't know. You know, it's not like, you know, and, and they're going to have to play the Phillies a lot. They're going to have to play the Braves a lot. And they're going to have to play the Nationals a lot. So that's three good teams that they're going to have to play quite a few games against. But they're better. So, yeah, that's good. You always want to get better. You always want to move in the right direction. And they seem to be moving in the right direction here. So, we'll see how it all works out for them. But, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see whether this um, all really helps them take the division or get to the playoffs. Or whether this is just another Phillies thing where we're loading up on a lot of great players and uh, we're still not going to be any better. So, uh, what do you guys think? Do you like the deal? Um, I mean, you got to really, you got to like the deal, assuming the Mets don't get stuck with a lot of bad salary that they will have on the books for years and don't end up going to the playoffs. But, you know, Lindor is a serious upgrade over Rosario. Carrasco fills at least a void for the moment with the missing um, Syndergaard and, um, and, and the overall impact on their uh, up-the-middle defense is going to be positive. So let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and we will uh, we'll talk later. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.